So I would now like to invite delegations wishing to make comments uh, or to pose questions to please press the microphone button. Please keep your questions short and to the point to allow uh, for as many interactions as possible. Also, please indicate to whom in the panel you are addressing your comment or question. And I take this opportunity to remind delegations that the time limit for interventions is three minutes. So I would now uh, like to give the floor. I have two speakers on my list so far. Uh, I would now like to give the floor to His Excellency Yavuz Salim Kiran, the Deputy Minister of Family and Social Services of Turkey. I thank the Distinguished Representative of Israel for his statement. I now give the floor to the Distinguished Representative of the International Federation for Family Development to be followed by the representatives of the Doha International Family Institute and the Blue Tree Foundation. I am Miguel Garcia Nates, student of the University at Madrid, Spain. I represent the youth of the International Federation for Family Development. In recent months, eight student groups from various European universities across six countries investigated the impact of climate anxiety on family planning, sports of their contribution to the 30th anniversary preparations for the International Year of the Family. We concluded that addressing declining birth rates requires a nuanced understanding of various factors, including climate change anxiety and shifts towards individualism in society. There is no one size fits all solution, and potential secondary effects of simplistic approaches must be considered. I would like to ask Professor Trask how we can overcome the fear and negative views about the future and be able to start a family as the Universal Declaration of Human Rights mentions in Article 16. I thank the distinguished representative of the International Federation for Family Development, and I now give the floor thank to Thank you very the much. It is very heartening to hear how many countries are doing, are trying to do, and doing some very uh, supportive things for families. I was sitting here thinking that in the end, the only way that these SDGs are going to be realized is by centering family policy and family programs in a comprehensive manner that includes housing, transportation, economic opportunities, educational opportunities, and addressing the problems that are being caused by climate change. And this requires not that we only focus on young children or on teenagers or on couples, but really on the whole life course and only through this family lens. Um, to the representative from the IFFD who talked about young people who are fearful of starting a family, I want to say that you know, I'm a cultural anthropologist and human beings have lived for a very long time on this earth under very many different types of conditions, everything from plagues to floods to famines, you know, and we have found ways to survive. So I think it is through a forum like this and other educational forms that we can come up with potential solutions. Several people mentioned regionality. Yes, I think that this is incredibly important. I said from the beginning, we don't have solutions that everybody can apply. We can address the problems, but they need to be applied in specific context. Work family was mentioned also. Work family uh, conflict negotiation is a global problem in low income, high income countries, and also across the socioeconomic sphere in all countries. And this requires uh, solutions from businesses, but also solutions from government. And the solutions are many, which is flexible work, for some people remote work, early care, but also uh, after school programs for children and for adolescents, and then also, of course, educational and, um, educational and occupational opportunities for young people as well as elder care. So again, I will just conclude by saying it's these comprehensive family-based 
programs and policies that will help move the agenda forward. Thank you so much.